I remember the very first time in 1980 when I saw Fort Scott National Historic Site, and I was absolutely amazed of all the buildings and the fact that it seemed to just pop right out of the prairie. It was pretty special then, and it's pretty special now. I remember as a child, HS1, uh, which was a museum at the time, and that's really all that was here except uh, modern buildings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then coming back years and years later as an adult and seeing an actual fort standing here, that, that was amazing to me because I had no idea that there was really a fort here. And what makes this site unique is it is the only unit of the National Park Service and the only restored and reconstructed fort in the entire United States that represents a military fort, active duty, Army, 1842 to 1853. When I was giving tours, I would always take people into the quartermaster's storehouse, which is uh, partially original, and you mm -hmm. can still see marks where they had hewn the logs. Right, you see the ads, ads marks, marks on the timbers, right. And uh, I would always bring that to visitors' attention. I always ask them to touch it. I said, you're touching a piece of history. That being there probably has a lot of the soldiers' sweat and maybe even a drop or two of blood in it. Mm -hmm. And I can take you right to a building right next door to this one where it was a blacksmith shop, and you can run your hands across the wall, an outside wall, and you can feel the chisel marks of the stonemasons that shaped the stone. That brings the building, which is a dormant, static building, it brings it alive. It brings it alive for the visitors. 